Hi guys, Vincent Liu here, and you guys already know I am running Algo Trading. And as you guys can see, this Algo Trading right now is all fully automated, and I'm shorting it right now. So let's talk about you know the Algo Trading series and what kind of things that I did to do this Algo. As you guys wanted to know how I actually run my Algo, I'm gonna explain everything in this video. But today we're gonna talk about the topic leading data versus lagging data as you guys already see right now over here i'm running this premium index data as you can see from this virtual machine right here so what is premium index and why am i running this leading data so in order to do that let's go to the chart right now and see so this chart right now is a bitcoin daily price of bybit i'm gonna switch it to weekly and for it to zoom out better okay so as you guys can see Right now, this price chart have an indicator of MACD and stochastic RSI. So what are do these two indicators? As you guys already know, these indicators are derived from price. Okay, they use MACD. They use you know calculation from the price data, RSI as well. Everything here is derived from price. And as you guys already know, price are things that already happen. Okay, it's already happened. And everything is already priced in. Okay, it doesn't matter. You know the emotions, the news. Everything is already priced at the charts, and these indicators are derived from them. And that's what we call lagging data. Okay, anything that related to price is the lagging data. So if you were to run an algo based on this lagging data, which is price, for example, over here I have I have this you know back has using a price. And this back test is using exponential moving average. So you, exponential moving average, yes, algo you can run using lagging data as well. As you guys can see over here, when the price is above, okay, exponential moving average, this green line right here, then I will enter my trades, and I will capture a big swing upwards. So my cumulative PL now, which is the blue line, I will gain when the price moves up, and the price. The red one goes below the green line. I was not trade, so it will be constant stagnant for the bear market. And yes, lagging data we can trade as well with a sharp ratio of one point eight eight for the duration of this four years of 0 0.0 0.0 twenty twenty two twenty twenty four. It's a four years data that I back tested using this lagging indicator. But what if we compare right? If we were to compare it to a leading data. So one of the leading data I'm using right now to trade is the premium index, and this is the back test result. We can get a sharp ratio of four, and we can have a result of X twelve as compared to a lagging data we only about around X four. So we can see the difference. So why is lagging data performing so well? Okay, why is it? So I'm gonna explain to you guys a little bit concept. Lagging data is something that already priced in. Okay, if you were to look at uh, something that already happened, okay, you might can use right this indicator MACD stochastic RSI to tell you what happened right now, but it cannot tell you what's gonna happen into the future. You get what I mean? So the data that's not related to price, they're all leading data. Okay, those data are the ones that influence the outcome. In the future, for example, I'm going to give you guys for example right here. So this is one of the Twitter posts where this crypto trader said that the Bitcoin exchange reserve is at its all-time low right now. So crypto reserve is actually, uh, it's not related to price data. Okay, it's a reserve up and down. So based on this, we can see right traders are taking out, okay, removing Bitcoin from the exchange. So what it means, guys. It means they're accumulating Bitcoin to their core wallets and the price keeps on going up because the supply is going down. So this is one of the right, one of the leading data. Okay, exchange Bitcoin inflow outflow. So if an exchange have a lot of Bitcoin inflow, you can know okay, something gonna happen in the future where a lot of Bitcoin traders will sell their Bitcoin. Okay, if the opposite were to happen, Bitcoin price will go up. Because the supply goes down, price goes up. Right? These are one of the leading factors. How about funding rate? Okay, as you guys can see, 
funding rate, if you guys didn't know what is that, funding rate is where, you know, the amount of short and long. And if there's a lot of long traders, they need to give these funding fees every eight hours to the short traders, right? To the one that's shorting the market. And if the funding fee is negative, right? If the market right now have a lot of short traders, right? Uh, everyone is shorting right now, small group of amount is longing, then the short traders need to give this funding fee to, right, to the long traders. So we can get this, right, get this data to know, right? Is the market right now overwhelmed with long traders or overwhelmed with the short traders and the price will move right against with the back tested data. So if there's too many long traders, the price will revert back to normal. Or if there's too much short traders, the price will go actually goes up, liquidating them. But right? these are all the back tests that we do. And another data that's even better than funding rates is a premium index. So premium index is actually used for calculating the funding rate, which I'm gonna to explain to you guys in another video. But in this video, I just have to let you guys know, okay, the difference between a lagging data versus a leading data. So a lagging data, yes, you can trade it as well. You can still get a very high sharp ratio and you can get, you know, around X4 in four years. But if you were to use premium index or any other leading factor, you guys can have a better algo as so i'm showing you right now i'm trading right here and i'm running this algo right now so if you guys want to learn algo you can follow sign up in my link below where i teach you guys and challenge you guys to do algo trading in two days so sign up and don't miss out this bull run right i'll see you in next week peace